Today has been, oh man, it's been amazing. Um, I wanna talk about freedom from bondage, freedom from slavery of your own mind. Well, in a way, we're all slaves to our own thoughts. And we're all slaves to our own compulsions, urges, ego, all that kind of stuff. Um, now, I think it's about time for us to change that and start to let go of the binds or the things that the chains that bind us. How about that? We let go of the chains that bind us and we move into a space of love, appreciation, and understanding where we see by a gratitude, by a love, unity, we start to see that all of these things that we thought we were doing to free ourselves were really chains of bondage that were keeping us bound to this flesh and blood and that's a hawk that just gave me goosebumps like hardcore sorry that's one of my spirit got <laughs> okay i felt that one really hard anyways we're talking about releasing the bindings of our flesh and blood and moving ourselves into the heart where true power lies, where love on an infinite degree lies, where you don't need to take something, you don't need to look at something, you don't need to do anything, you don't need to touch anything, you don't have to do anything, you don't have to think about anything. All you do is just be where you are and be with whatever you are in this moment and you be that and you experience that and you hold on to that and you let it go so you don't hold on to it really you only hold on to it for a while it's here but as soon as it says it's time for me to go then you let it walk away and sometimes when that feeling walks away a new feeling will come in and it may be something that you um, or your ego previously didn't really approve of. Well, the chains that bind us are our own mind and our own ego. So what happened is that the ego convinced you that you need to do something to make yourself feel different. That was a fundamental lie. You don't need to do anything. All you have to do is stop trying to do anything. All you have to do is just be with whatever you're, whatever you're doing right now. Be with, God, I feel so, oh my gosh, sorry. I'm feeling so grateful right now. Um, there's so much stuff that's dropping away right now for me. And there's like, and this is, I've literally cried fucking 35, 45, 50 times today. I don't even know how many times. <laughs> it's like, if, it feels like I'm literally like, I'm dropping so much of just spiritual baggage and stuff. And it's been just such an enlightening day and just such a beautiful day. Um, and the weather's, uh, the weather's been perfect. Uh, <laughs> I've been sober, like stupidly sober. And it's been amazing. And I've been feeling better than I've felt since I was a kid. Since I was literally like five, six years old. This is the first time I've felt these feelings since then. And, uh, oh man. I thought I forgot about this stuff, dude. Um, <laughs> I literally, I, All right, sorry. Letting go of the chains that bind us. 
the chains are thought chains. Think about it like this. You are like a, uh, a thought gun and you shoot out thought chains out of your thought gun and those thought chains wrap around stuff and then you click a button and it shoves them back into you and it pulls them back to you. It's like a grapple gun, but with chains. And you have this thought and thought tells you, okay, uh, what I want right now is I want to feel different. And then another thought and you shoot another chain out. And then uh, <laughs> at one point also, you're not shooting these out of a gun, you're shooting these out of your own hands and uh you only can shoot so many of them and uh once you uh once you run out of them then uh you have to recall some of them before you can shoot out more and this is all metaphorical obviously but these chains we shoot them out and then we pull back this thing and then it changes our experience for a second and then we take that and we're like oh this temporary change of experience means that if i do something then i will feel different well, it does for a minute, but then the only thing about that is that when you take something in from external, you have to pay back what you, what you take in. Meaning, uh, there's always a duality to everything that you experience in the external world. But when you go internally and you find these feelings inside of you, and you realize that any feeling that you felt in this lifetime or any past lifetimes which is a lot of feelings, all right? It's a lot of feelings that you don't know about all, as well, and it's a lot of euphoric and ecstatic feelings that you can tap into that you have no idea about right now, but it's okay. Anyways, so you can actually, by going internal, start to feel these feelings and bring them back up and integrate them into your mind, body, spirit complex. And as you raise your energy, you can actually hold a state of euphoric ecstasy for longer and longer and then it's not always going to be stupid euphoric but it's it, it will be the state of joy at the least this this constant state of joy this constant state of of liveliness this constant state of awareness beauty love synchronicity and a lot of different stuff but the point that i'm making is that the only way that you can actually reach these things is by because you're chained up right now all of you've shot out all of your chains and you haven't recalled any of them and you're trying to uh basically produce more chains to shoot out so you can bind yourself even more now what we're doing is recalling those back and uh, sometimes it can be a little bit painful to recall the chains back because uh you know when you shoot it out of your flesh and then once it's there, it's like a part of your your flesh and blood. So it's like you've, you've shot out a part of your, your skin. And to recall that back means to cut it off. And to cut off a part of your skin means pain. But there's another thing about that, is that that pain is transmuted as well. And that pain is no longer real as soon as you go internal. Because as soon as you go internal, then you become light and lighter and lighter and lighter. And the lighter that you become, the chains have no more physical mass to bind to. So instead of you having to cut them off, they just fall off because you have lightened yourself enough to where you can just slip right out. A lot of people are already light enough to where they can just slip right out. and. They choose not to because it's comfortable to live in your self-induced prison. But the process of letting go feels, every breath that you take feels more and more just relief, peace. Love. All right. Today has been an absolutely wonderful day. Life is wonderful. Life, life is beautiful.
thank you to my guides and thank you to God and thank you to me and thank you to you person I'm talking to on the phone I know you look like me but I'm pretty sure that there's somebody else there looking back you know you look like me we're all one all right <laughs> okay all right thank you guys and I appreciate your presence and I can feel your presence and I love you and thank you